Hey there pre-meds, my name is Amanda and this video is on content category 1C, the transmission of heritable information across generations and genetic diversity, aka population or Mendelian genetics. For those of you following along with the Brem Method content guides, this will be content guide 2A1C, group C. Population genetics is a pretty hefty topic. One thing to note on the MCAT is there is two types of genetics you're expected to know. One is what we're going over in this video, which is the Mendelian genetics between generations and inheritance patterns, versus 1B, which is molecular genetics, the nucleotide level processes such as transcription, translation, and replication. So one of the first things I always teach my students is to differentiate the two and make sure that you're in the right category when answering questions. In this section, you'll need to cover how to use Punnett squares, the Harvey-Weinberg equilibrium equation, and pedigrees, alongside an understanding of different types of mutations and how to utilize those mutations in the context of both diseases, cancer, and genetic diversity. You'll also be tested on evolutionary concepts like natural selection and speciation. On the MCAT, you'll see these topics come up in one of several ways. One is the non-passage-based questions, in which you'll be tested directly on topics usually like Punnett squares and evolution, where there's clear answers and quick calculations. Another way will be a passage in which they will describe a genetic disease or cancer, either through therapy or a case study, and you'll be expected to apply general concepts of Mendelian genetics and mutations to answer questions about that passage. The last way you'll be tested on the subject is through figures and diagrams and data showing things like inheritance patterns over generations or percentages of mutations in certain alleles in a population. You'll need to use that information to make predictions about that population or individual. Priority rank here is medium. Genetics in general is highly tested, but individually each of these subtopics is only going to come up once or twice in the exam. The depth meter rating here is about a 7, and that's because you need to know more than just the concept of a pedigree or a Punnett square. You actually need to be able to use the passage information to be able to make inferences or predictions about that individual or population. You need to be able to apply these concepts and not just have a rote memorization understanding of them. Related topics here are 1B, of course, the molecular genetic side. You can't have one without the other. 5D3, which goes over some nucleotide and chromosome structures, right? So the organic chemistry structure that underlies DNA. And 2C, reproduction, which goes through meiosis and mitosis and the process by which we transmit genetic information. My videos in this playlist will cover how to differentiate different mutation types on the MCAT, MCAT style math for Punnett squares and Hardy-Weinberg calculations, the importance of test crosses, highly tested pedigree types, commonly tested genetic diseases, and cancer. I hope you enjoy diving back into some old school genetics topics. As always, links to the reference video list is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.